Detecting Talk of the Evening, 651 Central Standard Time. Boys, I put up some videos today. The old day is two. Looks like to me, for maximum unmasking capabilities, that machine will maybe yield an iron tone. Hmm. Now, you see my videos, and depending on the silencer setting, I believe I was notching zero to four with silencer one, zero to five with silencer two. Remember, iron reads, di nails reads different. Depending on the silencer setting of that machine, reading lower with a lower silencer. Ooh, the sensitive FT may be scaled slightly different. Version 200. So, that's how I see, that's what I've seen today, boys and girls. You know, this is sort of related to the old iron tone bird dog, huh? <laughs> I bet some people laughed about that, didn't they? Well, anyway, that's what it looks like to me. Is the target will actually report an iron tone, can be controlled by the iron volume for actual volume. To include zero, you can turn it off. And make that machine alert on some damn real cramped up shit, okay? High conductors and low conductors, boys. So here, I guess, is the test question. And I'm sure there'll be some debate about this, but hey, people can look at it. If we call the front end of the day is two, the iron range, and we call the back end the non-ferrous range. For maximum unmasking potential, separation unmasking potential with that detector, should I be messing with the front end notch like I did today and get the results I got and use those in the wild? Or should I leave the front end alone and mess with the back end via using disc, lowering the disc. Well, I don't think fooling with that disc is the answer. But I'm sure it may be debated, okay? I believe it's getting rid of the nail, getting rid of what most iron where it reports in that machine. Command the day is two. Don't lock on, don't give signal on shit reading one, two, three, and four, running silencer one. All right? It's a lot like, believe it or not, you know, and I hit it about this and I think my video detecting talk of the day this morning. You got small falls sitting over a damn silver dime. You sweep it with no notch and what? Fast program and what do you get? About a 34 to meter, right? You don't even hear the damn dime. Yet the DS2 is capable in some situations to hear that dime by notching out the foil. How about that? Well, it looks like to me the same applies to that damn machine in the iron. It's capable of seeing some non ferrous targets in really cramped position you just have to command the machine, don't sound off on the nail. You, the machine can't on its own without notch, just like the non-ferrous lower conductive and higher conductive trash laying in cramped positions. The machine's audio on its own can't separate it. Therefore, you sweeping, for example, all you're hearing is iron tone. Now remember this. Think about it. That machine is going to read like a two or a three in silencer one on nails. Okay, maybe four. 
But then you've got a non-ferrous tire you'd lay into the side of it. That when you sweep the machine, you can see this if you sweep that machine on some of these tests I did today without notching the machine. Just sweep it and watch the meter. You'll see a five and a six depending come in the screen. But the day is two. The pitch difference of the signal to the human ear between a signal that reads four versus six or four versus five is what? We can't hear that shit. We can't hear it. If you go to silencer two and put a nail down beside a, a nickel, like I did on that two by four, you'll see them videos. When you're sweeping that machine in silencer two, it's seeing that damn nickel. It's seeing it. And all you gotta do is look at the meter and you'll know it's seeing it, but you can't tell by the audio. Like I said, <laughs> Pitch-wise, between a signal of four and six, ain't nothing there. You see what I'm saying? You can't hear that with a human ear. At least I can't hear it with mine, so what you do is you command the detector. Quit spitting out audio on certain selected ID segments. And that's what it does. Just like it does on the fall versus a dime under it. Okay, so you all give this a try, see what you come up with, but I believe this is the ultimate little setup here, you know, for pounded sights, boys, pounded sights. Now, one thing I didn't do, and I could probably try it, and I may do it tomorrow if I get time. I may go to 40 kilohertz on that damn machine. Silencer zero. With no notch. Can I hear these same targets I can hear when I go a zero, four notch silencer one in the fast program? Can I hear that scenario with a 40 kilohertz model program silencer zero? Same speed. I doubt it. Because again, the machine may not can separate the two, okay? Remember, that shit's happening so fast. Calls being swept, that's just report, 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 report. So you have to actually give the machine what you call an interrupt. You're programming it, interrupt. Interrupt on that damn nail so I can hear a target beside it. The only problem is it comes in iron range steel, so it's iron tone. How about that shit? Remember what I said the other day? You can use that damn machine backwards and find shit you can't find forwards. Well, that's sort of what's going on. Well, that's going to conclude the video. I may show a few more things tomorrow. I've done talk to a buddy of mine, you know, and he's, he's going to watch my videos and stuff. Me and him are going to go hunting again soon. I hope everybody has a good evening.